hello it's Colette welcome back to my channel and if you're new subscribers thank you for joining me and um, I might hit the wee bell icon because that means you'll get notifications whenever a video or a live stream goes up I'm starting a live stream soon so that will be interesting but here is your weekly tarot card oh thank you to all you goldie oldies as well I appreciate you loads uh, this is your weekly tarot card for the week commencing Monday the 29th of January 2018 and it's the five of discs. If you look at it, it's got a wee man juggling all these discs and he looks quite strong. Let's see if we can get a wee close up of him. Yeah, he looks as though he's handling it and he probably is but if you look at the outside of the card there seems to be like asteroids coming in towards him. And certainly if they start sort of falling round about them, there's no chance he's going to keep all those balls in there. So, um, that's the kind of background. Hi Nelly, sit there. That's the kind of background to this card this week. Um, the Five of Discs is one of those cards that warns you of um, being worn out. It warns you of trying to keep things going when really you can't. It warns you of just taking on too much, I suppose. And last week's card, we had the Strength card come in you. Sorry. There we go. Yeah, see, it's all right. Last week's card, we had the Strength card. And basically, it was letting us all know that we had the fortitude and strength to keep going. And we did. And if you look at the things you went through last week, you probably find that it actually was a week where you come to the end of it and go, right, okay, I managed. Okay, excuse me, I'm just going to set her. Stay, stay, settle, settle down. Sorry about that. Um, so if you look at last week's card and if you've been through it, you'll know that maybe you are looking at yourself and saying I did do that I'm fine but no more and um, that's the follow-on card to it very often that we get that people keep going keep going keep going and then they reach a time where they literally are I can't hold this anymore <coughs> and it can be a timing thing I think there's a, a lovely story of a university professor that um asked a student to hold a glass of water out and um, when she put her arm out, he said, is it heavy? And she said, no, it's not, it's fine. And then they asked her again in 15 minutes. And she said, oh, it's a bit heavier. And uh, about 45 minutes down the line, she couldn't hold her arm up anymore because that same weight of water hadn't changed. But the length of time that she had to hold it had so we're through that strength card and now we've got the warning okay something needs to change and you need to either accept that you can't keep going on the way you are and maybe ask for help it's also a wee warning that you might think you've got everything under control and you're managing your money and you're managing this that and the next thing but just how much you have control is dependent on everything else being settled round about that issue or problem and this week there could be little asteroids coming in um, to add extra dissent or extra negativity and that's when you have to rethink your strategy of maybe aloneness or dealing with everything yourself so it's very it's almost an about turn to the energy of the strength card from last week so please bear that in mind as i say i do think the wee man at the bottom of the card looks incredibly strong but look at those asteroids yeah so what does it mean in a career well with career it's the same thing you could have been going along thinking i can handle this i can handle the stress i'm getting there and then this week maybe extra work comes in or someone in your household is ill or you're ill oh, and you just are like no I can't keep all these balls in the air so with career it might be that you have to take a time out even time off work or it might be that if you still manage to juggle the career aspects that you have to let another area go say you had plans for doing this that and the next thing even socialising or whatever that the may need to go. I mean, he's juggling a lot of balls there. 
okay? Maybe if he was juggling a few less, he might manage to keep everything in the air. So with career, um, if you're focusing on career this week, you'll need to let something else um, go. Hand over responsibility to uh, someone else for another area of your life or even another area of the work that you're meant to do or simply learn to say no. If we look at it in health, um, again, it, it can seem a very stressful card. It's like when you have kept going with an illness and something else hits. Take an example with myself, with my autoimmune disease, the Shorgans. I manage that to the best of my ability. And although week on week it's not great, I can manage it, I can handle it. Um, but if I get a cold on top of it, it just wipes everything out because uh, I can't fight anything. So any plans I've had or anything that I've wanted to do simply has to go out the window because I can handle the illness that I've got and I know I've got and I know the level it's at. Uh, just like you'll know the level of your illness, whether it's physical or mental. Uh, add another thing on top and um, there has to be a give somewhere. So with health, it, it's trying to say to you again, um, don't ask too much of yourself this week ahead with um, health. You've maybe done that in the last week. You've got through major things. Sometimes, you know, when we stop, that's when we get the bugs and that's when we get the things. Have you ever noticed that you keep working and or heading towards that holiday? In the first two days of the holiday, you're normally wrecked or you catch the worst cold. That's a wee bit like this card. So please, with health, um, treat yourself nice and make sure that you're um, not giving yourself too much responsibility because if you do, you'll probably have to cancel and then you'll feel bad. And it's as simple as that. <clears throat> Excuse me. If we look at love, um, again, this card can be diluted a bit because you've th theoretically in a partnership get got two people juggling. And that is easier. It says worry on the card, right? So they may be both juggling the worries of finances or children or whatever. Um, this card can show up in a long-term relationship where the inequalities are. It could be that one person's feeling as though they're doing all the work with, say, the kids, or they're doing all the housework, or they're juggling all the finances, and they're not getting the support that they need to keep all these things in the air. So in a long-term relationship, um, it's important that uh, you look at how you're juggling things and maybe balance them out a wee bit more fairly. If you're looking for a relationship, here's a good thing that comes from this card. Um, maybe you've got too many options, you know, maybe you're thinking, well, I was like that and I'm on that website or I'm doing this or I'm doing that and you're kind of all out welcoming the love, looking for love. This card tells you to sort of pull it in a bit and narrow um, where you're looking or what you're looking for uh, and that's very good advice magically you know if you're very disparate with magic oh I would like this type of person I'd like that type of person I'd like this type of person there's a good story on this in my book maybe uh, not maybe the universe memoirs of a clairvoyant um, when I uh, made a slight mistake with this but if you if you if you're giving out all these energies of a I quite like that, quite like this, I would like that type of partner, I'd like that type of partner. The universe is going, whoa, so narrow it. If you're doing any magical intent in or any prayers or anything for a new love, um, check out the wee love spell I've got um, in the spells bit of the channel. Um, but narrow it down, really think about what type of person you want and uh, don't have too many avenues open because you'll just confuse the universal energies. So in this way, if you're looking for a partner, this is actually quite a good wee card telling you to pull it in a wee bit. With money, um, it is a worry card. There is a sense of, oh my God, you know, I'm still not through or I'm still not getting there the way I wanted. 
there could be delays with things, there could be a feeling that again you've got too many debts to juggle. <coughs> The advice on that again is trying to consolidate everything, trying to not have too many things that you have to juggle and if that means pulling them all into one slightly bigger ball rather than five smaller ones, um, then that will really help. So it's a week where we've got the antithesis of the last week's card. Um, we've all kept going, we've all got there and we've looked back and said, yeah, that's fine, we're through it. And this week it's almost like uh, something else comes to hit us and we just go, no, I can't handle all this, I need help. And you know, the, there's nothing wrong in sharing your worries. Um, there's nothing wrong with, even if it's just sharing, you know, if you've got a girl night, a girl's night, to sit with your pals but we wee cup of coffee or a glass of wine and offload a wee bit. Good friends won't mind that, they'll probably add their uh, worries into the pile as well and that's, that's what friendship's about, being able to talk about worries and if you feel that the worries are getting you down, because this card can also bring out a slight lowness, a depression, a feeling of things that you're not capable or you're not coping, then maybe get a wee bit of professional help, see your doctor, maybe um, get yourself some mindfulness training because again, mindfulness can keep you very much in the moment with this card. Um, but yes, there is a wee downside of the, the lowness of energy with this card. In some of the traditional decks, there's people walking in heavy snow and they're poor and they've no shoes and it's really quite destitute. And um, when that becomes a feeling, um, it can make us feel as though life isn't full of energy, isn't full of sunshine, it's full of low thing after low thing. Uh, and another thing I would probably say is maybe get away from negative news in some way um, because that can add to this card. If you're just seeing negativity after negativity then it, it does seep in and I'm one of the world's worst because um, I am quite political so I'm always like retweeting things or passing things on on Facebook, not in my spiritual channel, uh, pass on all upbeat and good things, but in my Twitter and um, my private page, it's normally possibly raging about something. And I get to the stage where maybe I've retweeted a lot and I look at it and I think, oh, that's all negative. Um, I must put up a picture of a, a puppy. <laughs> Um, so I'm getting off there, but maybe pull away from social media a wee bit if you're feeling that everybody else has it quite good and you're just struggling. It's the only way to do it sometimes. So I hope you've liked the weekly tarot card. Maybe not like the card influence, but take, out, take it as a warning and it can really work in your favour. And um, give me a thumbs up, please. Leave comments and um, I'll see you next week for the weekly tarot card. Many blessings now. Bye.